And right now, Andre Agassi, where he wants to be in the stadium court at a Grand Slam, pursuing another Wimbledon title. It's been 11 years. This was his first major ever. Back in 1992, when he stunned the tennis world winning on the lawn, can he do it again as the only man remaining in this field who has hoisted the champion's trophy on the men's side? His second round match coming up against German Lars Bergmuller with Drysdale, joined by Andre's former coach and our wild card commentator, Brad Gilbert, Patrick McEnroe along shortly. Let's go to court one. Andre Agassi about to swing this first uh, swing here of this second round match he is so charismatic this is the man that they come to see Play. if tim henman's not playing first ball bergs Mueller to serve First point for Berg Mueller there. 15 love. He's he's going to need a couple of holds right here to kind of get his teeth in this match. Clapping. Brad Gilbert alongside and Patrick McEnroe. 15 all. That's for surf. Sitting here with two coaches, um, obviously Davis Cup captain for the USA, Patrick McEnroe, now coach of Andy Roddick, Brad Gilbert, and he, he's warming up there. And, uh, and so, so Ber he takes a look at Bergsmuller, as you see some of the stats on him, a 28 from Mulheim, Mulheim rather, in Germany. But he said forehand, uh-uh. <laughs> put that on the backhand side. Yeah, he had a lot of hitches going on the forehand. So we'll, we'll look for that. Not to mention this high ball toss on he the bring, serve. He brings a little rain on that. Not, I mean, right off the bat, Andre notices that. Does, does he notice that in the warm-up run? I'm sure that he would have sent Darren out to scout this guy, and all of a sudden he would say, geez, he's got an unusual forehand, much better on the backhand, and Andre is real good at finding a weakness. Didn't you say he doesn't like playing against guys he's never played before? Um... That's usually true, but this guy doesn't really fit the bill. <laughs> doesn't seem to, like he's going to present too many difficulties. Are you two riding him off before the first game is played? This, okay, I, well, let's go back to this here for one second. This is the most annoying net in the history of the world. I mean, when are they going to change these nets? Every time it hits the net, it just drools over. Loose nets at Wimbledon. They've had them for years. It's about time we get into the, you know, 2000s here. Get a little tighter net strap, huh? I want to have, you think it has something to do with the net post being in the grass? Of course it's it not, does. You know. Of course it does, but that's not a, uh, something that would occur to California. You know? <laughs> a lot of hard courts out there. I tell you, for the fourth day out here, the, the middle of the court is pretty First chopped game. up. And right there, Andre hit a couple of balls actually deep down the middle. And that's actually the roughest spots on the court for bounces. You know, we, I talked about that, Brad, in the first day. I said, you know, the, the court was nice and green. And years past, it always gets more worn out right around the service line. The guy serving in volley in these days. Oh, yeah, it's the it's baseline. Just, yeah, the baseline is what gets worn. <laughs> I tell you, we hit a Rangi today, and I tell you what, you need clay court shoes over there. The courts are roughed up. But this court, you know, tends to play a little slower than the center court as well. Mm -hmm. Andre really likes playing on this court. Rangi Park are the uh, practice courts, which are just right here, part of the Wimbledon facility, just used strictly for practice. 
So okay, let, hey, I want to show you guys, uh, pay attention to this because this is 99. I want you to see how love differently the, the courts uh, uh, were worn. You know, you were talking about the baseline. Look at this now. You see this area there. This is 99. This is the final Sampras agency. Um, but you see how the court is worn between the serve and the baseline and then again near the net position. Mm -hmm. Not so. Not so here. Of course, we've got another week to go before we get Love to that. 30. So. Well, I guess Even so. got a few more guys that serve and stay back than serve and volley now. Yeah, well, they slowed the courts down. They slowed the balls down. I think they've done it a little bit too much. Let's fuss it. I kind of like it. I, I do, too. You like it now because you got your, your, your big server, your big thumper. <laughs> Doesn't <laughs> come in too much. He's got the surf and turf. Yeah. <laughs> Let for serve. What do you mean, surf and turf? What do you mean? Big serve, big forehead. That's a big serve for Andre, 118 right there. 15 30. Seems to save those, uh, his higher speed serves, Brad, for those bigger points on serve. That time down, love 30. Picks his spot so well. Another good one there. Yeah, he's going to find that forehand a lot. Sergio. So that's into the body forehand there, too. Jammed him. And that's what Andre can do so well. When he finds a weakness, he can just beat it up until, you know, everything goes. Much like uh, Jimmy Connors was able to do. Well, oftentimes, Connors would start out going for your strength, try to break that down. Yeah, he is, a, he is directing the attack to the forehand already, so... Break point he, here for Burgs Miller. He's figured it out. Second game, one game to Agassi with the break. Break point. That's a great Jeez. one, too. A solid first serve, and then that first ball cross court. Andre does that so well. It's like a left jab in boxing, you know, it just sets up the point. You know, he's not really going for a winner, but he's just putting the point in position to where he wants to be. Advantage Agassi. It's a good wide serve there for him, 106 out wide. Good slice on that, swinging away from Berg's Muller. Those funky yes. bounces, Brad. It was straight down the middle right there and just kind of jumped up on him right there. Is that the line? Mm, it's just that area. It could have been on the line, but it also could just be that uh, worn out area right along the baseline. Where's our shot spot? <laughs> <laughs> He's a little schnooze in there. <laughs> oh. 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 That's an unbelievable shot. <laughs> What a point from the start. Bergsmuller with a great return. A little bit lucky on that return, but Agassi showing that improved quickness at 33. Agassi. Told me at the end of last year, he said, I want to get quicker. I said, no way. How's that possible? He did it. Around the net post. Well, Gil Reyes, his trainer, and see Agassi getting set for this one, said that off this offseason, they, they train harder and smarter after they did their sprints up that hill in Vegas, which you know well, Brad, they went back on the court and did some more foot drills. Wasn't a good hill for a guy like me, <laughs> but Gil Reyes is a genius, let me tell you. Game, Agassi. Boy, I tell you, the middle of the court is just so Brad, chopped uh, up there. Hold up for a second. I want you to take a look at this shit. This is Bergman's forehand. What is it that you do not like about him? What is it Agassi about him that, that uh, makes it vulnerable? Well, he's got an extreme grip on the forehand. And then, see right there, he kind of goes up. Left hand comes way far back. And then he's got an extreme hitch in it. There's, it it's not a fluid motion at all. It's like that stressful Jim Grab serve, but it's a <laughs> forehand. He's got, like, at least two hitches working there. <laughs> 
That would stress me out having that forehand just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you need everything to go right every time you make yeah, that does. swing. And he needs more time. And on a little bit of a quicker court like this, you know, you're going to find the weaknesses more often. I expect that uh, Agassi wasn't too pleased with the way he looked in those last two sets against Jamie months. Delgado in the opening round, that he'd want to come out here and take care of business as, as quickly and efficiently as he can. No question. I'm sure he would have had a good practice yesterday, and, and you know, he puts things behind him really well. Short-term memory loss. Mm -hmm. You need that for as a tennis player. <laughs> And you know in these tournaments, it's all about every other day finding a way to win three sets. That's it. Don't get so focused on everything else that's going on. Just take care of your own business. A couple updates here. Henman uh, looking to close the door on Lodra. Soderling, the young Swede, 18 years old, threw in four sets. What's up with that Betty Crocker draw he got there? The old Easy Bake Oven for them. <laughs> it's like they fixed that draw for him. That's a good two out of backhand down the line right there. Much Four more seasons. compact Bergs Muller on that two handed side. His coach, you also hope that's Reiner Schuttler's coach as well. Poor coaching by the coach. No, <laughs> no sunglasses. No, or hat. Yeah. You could slide on that Metallica hat, Brad. That's going to be your lucky hat, though, this tournament. Oh, no I think. question. <laughs> I've had it working since I started with Andy. And you'll never see me without sunglasses. Again, Bergsmuller. Bergsmuller is on the board. 2-1 Agassi. Break a serve. First set. Agassi leads two games to one. First set. Muller, take you there now. 15 all in this game. 3-1 Agassi. First set. 30-15. All right, guys. Um, I know, but Patrick, you'll probably jump all over me for this one. But are we headed toward... Um, a Henman Agassi semifinal. That'd be nice, but I think now Bandian's a, a real threat. Um, it's Robin Soderling from Sweden. The youngster is a pretty good looking young player. I think he's the new Swedish hope. Well, he's the only Swedish hope at the moment. I watched him play a couple times last year in the U.S. Open Juniors. He hits a big ball. He kind of plays like Thomas Anquist. So we stay on 170 at a time. That's a no, right? What about you, Coach? The Henman... Uh, the it's Henman's not going to be a Henman not. Agassi semi. Agassi will be there, Henman not. You're not afraid of Alanawi in the next round, huh? No. If Alanawi gets there. Currently up in the four set against Nicholas Massu. I think he could cramp thinking about that match. <laughs> Maybe too quick for him to cram on the grass. Oh. 30-40. 30-40 40 break point here for Andre Agassi. I've got a British pound that says that Eleanor is going to win at least one set against Agassi. Any takers here? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I knew heartbeat. Brad beyond that in a second, so I let him dive in there. Yeah, he's going to have a three and out today, and he'll be ready for another three and out. And take, I'll take your money easy. Let's for serve. Pound is a dollar sixty, by the way. Buck seventy. Whatever, for ten cents. You correct me for ten cents? Well, that's one seventy to a dollar. It's having a little wayward toss there. Mm -hmm. Shades of Kuchera. Kuchera at the U.S. Open, yeah. Against Agassi, and he beat him that day in five sets. Deuce. Now, Bandian's been impressive. I mean, we all thought coming in that uh, he would feel the pressure of being the defending finalist. It hasn't been a great year for him. He took out Volchkov pretty easily in straight. Sa was a, probably a bit of an easier match. He won that easily. And now he plays the winner of Suzuki yeah. and Kuchera. So, I mean, actually, his draw is all of a sudden shaping up a mm -hmm. little better. That's 
what Agassi good. hates, miss hitting those easy Zero. second serve returns. Trying to find that timing. That annoys him more than anything. That's a great backhand yeah, yeah, line. If you're going to beat Andre, that's, that's what you got to hit the backhand down the line right there. 3 2 Eggers. Love 15. Agassi serving here at 3 2 lead with a break. Love 15. Agassi breaking in the opening serve game of the German. But Agassi flat footed there. Bergsmuller connecting on that forehand cleanly, and Agassi didn't love make 30. a move for it. This is the second time he's had love 30. Niemann with a win in four. The Finn moves on. Yark the Ark. The Yark man. Love 30. Big chance here. Second serve. He should be aggressive right here. Great second serve. 100 mile an hour second serve out wide gets the job done. Neiman and will take, take on Rokas next, a, a little guy from Belgium with a five set win. And Yuri Novak, another dangerous floater. How about this guy, Filipousis, looking good so far? Watch out for Novak, though. Explain, explain to me a 5 3 grass court specialist. <laughs> Tell you, quick, Two years in a row, he's been in the third round. Quickness on the grass. Yes, he, he likes the ball bouncing low. It's right there for him. I guess he's not exactly a giant. Elanawi yeah. now on serve in the fourth. He's a giant compared to Rokas. Oh, yeah, Agassi looks 30, to be 40. just still the way he was in those last two sets against Delgado, a little bit off. You could see even in that point, he wasn't really stepping into the court like he normally does, a little unsure of himself. Break point here. Deuce. Yeah, it's wide deuce. And by, just by the way, you talked about Philippus' result. If uh, Agassi wins his n this one and one more, then it could be Philippusis and next. Of course, many a slip twixt the cup and the lip because he's heading there toward Yuri Novak. If I'm not mistaken, Andre's beaten Philippusis seven times in a row. Ah! Ooh, that just missed it. Bergsmuller thought he had it. Kind of ducktailed there at the last minute. Where's our shot spot today? He's resting. <laughs> Tea time. Gay magazine. And there he finds the forehand again. He struggled for in that game again, but he's in front for two for the latest video highlights of the Wimbledon decision. Championships. Please log on to Wimbledon.org or ESPN.com, and then your search word is Wimbledon. That's Wimbledon, by the way, D-O-N. So many people in the U.S. say Wimbledon. You going over to Wimbledon? <laughs> you, Wimbledon. Just get, you get the feeling any time that he starts hitting the ball clean, he's, he's going to stretch this lead here. I'll tell you what's... what's Maintaining the lead for him is his serve. He's serving 74% no and uh, hitting some great second serves when he's needed them. Andre is the best uh, lead the stretcher team. since Lendl. You know, to be a good lead stretcher, you got to have a great hold game and be able to break. What's a lead stretcher? All of a sudden, you look on the scoreboard, it's 3 1. You come back five minutes later, it's 6 1, 3 0. Oh. They can. They can win games real quickly. Like Pete could hold serve real quickly, but he didn't break that losing. many times. Yeah, he'd win a lot of matches six, four, seven, five. When Andre's playing well, he can beat guys one and one. Fifteen all. Oh, 
Zero T15. Just hasn't quite found the range yet. You wanted shots put oh, there. there it is. is. There it is. It's come out of the closet, Brad. Ask and you shall receive. I like that guy. 40, 15. Just missing a couple of balls here. <clears throat> so you two, uh, you two are talking about the lead stretcher. I assumed you thought this might happen here, yeah, but it doesn't look like it. This is game point. Not yet. But it's it's time is coming. I, I, it's I coming. sense it. Yeah, I sense it. <laughs> game Big first serve first right there. Tell face. you what, there has been great weather here in Wimbledon for this first week. Really, a couple of spots of rain. Spots of rain, but that's about it. I guess he wins the first point in his serve game. He's minutes. up one break, 4-3. Another big first serve from Agassi, 116. 30 love. Bergsmiller has actually had a couple of break points in the match. Has not broken, but it's been close. Alps, 30-15. Has it been close or not? No, it hasn't. No. I, I knew that's no. what you were thinking. Well, that's always annoying to a player right there. It just seemed that like that was an awfully close ball right there to overall. Or shot spot right there. You just ticked off Brad because he missed that slice backhand. This is not Agassi's best surface. Why not? Well, because he can get overpowered by someone that's got a big serve. And I also think that, you know, his mobility is not as good as some of the other guys. And you have to be able to run some balls down, have a lot of quickness. But mostly because of guys that have beaten him that's for have essentially been guys that could overpower. Well, so. and it's the least amount you play on mm -hmm. it. Play on it one time a year. Yeah, but that's true of everybody. Starting to find the range. That's some body blows right there. Great Magazine. footwork, too, in that point from Andre Agassi. And the man who took over from you, Brad, you did such a great job with Agassi. Agassi in the leads. Years of them was, uh, this man, Killer Cahill, who uh, had the unenviable task of taking over for Agassi when the only success could be measured really at this stage in Agassi winning majors. Does he, he talk as much as Brad, or do you think he lets, um, do you think he lets his man get away with <laughs> Oh, Andre can talk with the best of them, too. Killer. I'm sure he's enjoying every minute of oh, it. Yeah. Andre's a great guy, an infectious personality. He's great to be around. Oof. Love 15. That was not a pretty looking second serve. That was a miss hit second serve in the bottom of the net. His second double. So I would have to take a quick walk, check my racket out, and make it like it was something. Something was wrong with yeah, the Yeah, definitely. Let for some. Go fix a grass spot, something. Make an excuse there, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> the sun, maybe. Nice 
nicely done. Way to sneak in right there to do a volley. Got another pound, Patrick, that uh, I'll, I'll put against a straight set uh, win from Agassi if he wins this when he plays Elena in the next round. Are you going to take well, a piece I, of that? I, you know, I'd like to see how the rest of this match uh, materializes. So you're going to... Because Elena is through now in four okay. over Masu. And, and Agassi, I don't think he's looking that sharp even in this match so far. So far. little slice right there. This is a big game for Andre to break to start serving the next set. And then that's how you stretch the lead when you start serving first after winning the set. 15-30. So you think it's important to serve first in the set? Well, after winning a set, it's nice to start serving. But at the start of the match, Andre 15, never 40. likes to serve first. He always wants to return first because, it, you know, that's, you know, you're vulnerable sometimes in the first game on your serve, and he never wants to get broken first. So he likes to return a few and then likes to serve. Marshall also helps that he's 30, the greatest returner, yeah. one of the greatest of all time, and he's also a tremendous starter. So yeah. he knows that he can put pressure on his opponent right away. The only time you ever see Andre serving first is when the opponent wins a, wins a toss and chooses to receive. <laughs> That's the only time you'll ever see him serve first. Break point. Got it. Game in first set. Break the serve and the set goes to Andre Agassi. And Wimbledon has enjoyed great crowds as usual. SW19 is what they call Wimbledon. It is a suburb of London. Agassi serving. First game, second set. Well, Agassi you know, didn't play a great first set, but he served very well. As you see, the first serve percentage. A few more winners and unforced. And uh, stat that I know Brad Gilbert loves, the conversion ratio was pretty good for Agassi. Two for five break point opportunities. It's an amazing thing what you just said is he's not playing that well, but yet he still had two breaks. Two breaks. Set, six three. <laughs> How many guys in the world can you mm -hmm. say that about? Didn't play that well and still won six three. Fifteen thirty. See, occasionally on that forehand it can just yep. go wayward. Trying to do uh a little too much maybe with that one at love 30. That was a big opportunity to get triple break point. Thirty. Good solid first serve out wide right there. Andre's a great V server. He loves to serve wide in the deuce and out wide in the ad. Kind of sets up his middle serves. Just to clarify, that means the forehand side when you're serving to this court and then the backhand side to the other. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad we have someone to translate some of the BG. As well, I'm studying. learning. Now, one thing, BG, that uh, I got a question from uh, .com. I was looking at some of the list today. We said the other day, you said that Andre serves great to the four spots. And someone wanted to know what that meant, four spots in the box. Out wide and the deuce in the end and then up the middle in the deuce in the ad. Those are the four spots. He's not, you know, not a body server traditionally. Again, Bergsmiller. Wow, break for Bergsmiller. Early break, so he gets out to a quick lead in set number two. The first set, though, Agassi, you know, still trying to find his range. He finds it in this point. Great scrambling. Look at a little good little footwork there from Agassi, the great steps is one of the reasons at 33 he's able to still dominate the men's game.
Bergsmuller on the defensive in this point. Agassiz doesn't look to me like he's really going for the corners as often as he normally does, but when you give him a target, he will find it. First set two break for Agassiz, but now he was broken first game of the second. Here's Lars Bergsmuller. He's a German, 27 years old, and he's ranked 88 in the world. When you talk about his movement, he's very economical, and he's, he's very efficient, and he picks his spots when he's going to move. Who are we talking about? Andre, okay. on his movement. He's very efficient with his moving, and like I said, he really picks his spots when he's going to, you know, make the move. Love 15. Oh, yes, that's a beautiful two-hander there. And that's the shot uh, that Agassi is susceptible 15. to, but Bergsmuller had to come up with something really special. And look how Agassi opens the court up. That's an excellent backhand, and backhand to backhand right there. It beats him up the line. Look how he stays low. It's so important, especially on the grass, when the ball's skipping through the court quickly to keep those legs bent for stability and balance. 30-15. So for all of the things that you're saying about Agassi, what do you tell somebody that you're coaching that's going to play against him about where his weaknesses may be? And, Brad, that may happen here in the final of Wimbledon. Forty fifty. Nah, that's a long ways away, but it would be nice if that happened. And he's only going to be thinking about one guy tomorrow, <laughs> not five matches from now. Tommy Robredo next for Andy Roddick tomorrow. You saw them play in Houston on mm -hmm. grass. Yep, no, Robredo's uh, not a bad fast court player. 40-30. That's a heck of a forehand return right there. He's, when he's annoyed, you see him picking the strings. Andre's picking the strings a little bit. Complained quite a bit, Brad, about his tension in Paris during the French Open, especially in his loss to Guillermo Coria of Argentina. He's such a perfectionist. I mean, he can tell the difference between a half a pound, a pound, and he tries different. Game Bergsmuller. Game Bergsmuller, two games. So let's tell just a little bit about the Bergsmuller story. We started when he was six years old. His dad, Rainer, the pharmacist, and his mother, Yuta. Um, she works for dad. Uh, golf he likes. He likes, uh, he's also a diver. And you ask him about himself, and he'll say, I'm a quiet person, but tolerant, and I got a good sense of humor. Fifteen love. He beat Albert Montagne to record his first victory at Wimbledon in four efforts in the first round here, two days ago. Well, if you're Bergsmuller now and you, you're up an early so break, I think what you want to do is, is try to keep Agassi from getting that rhythm going. So try to finish the points quickly, use that backhand down the line, which he's been able to do a couple times, like that. You know, just take a couple of cracks, because if you allow Agassi to get in the groove and you just think that Agassi's 13, gonna 15. lose the match, well, then you're gonna lose the match. Take some chances, step in. Yeah, he's got a little 2-0 lead here. It's a good chance to take a few risks to try to get something going here. 30-15. That's a big forehand return. Moved way inside the baseline, too, to take that one. There's another opportunity now in a second serve. Oh, yeah. Slips there on the baseline. Is Agassi going back behind Bergsmuller? 
how those hemis feel there. Oof. Seen some guys take some nasty spills. I got a little worried yesterday about Roddick when he hit did the splits. No thank, question. Thank goodness I, he's flexible. <laughs> I mean, because the back of those courts are so chewed up. Roger Federer also yesterday took a couple of nasty spills. Agassi hits his first ace of the match to hold on. We're live at Wimbledon and Andre Agassi's in action. Andre Agassi and Lars Bergsmiller of Germany, 6-3, first set to Agassi, 2-1 to Bergsmiller. He's got the break here in the second set. Live coverage from court one. Second round, men's singles on this day four of the Wimbledon Championships. Cliff Drysdale here, Brad Gilbert and Patrick McInerney alongside. Again, second set, Agassi winning the first easily, but down a break, 15 all in this game. See, that's where I think Agassi struggles 30, on the grass, is that ability to, to, to quickly get out wide. And that's why even a lot of these baseline guys now can give him a little bit of trouble, because they can just whack the ball early in the point, much like Shrishafan did to him last year. Well, it's a good play. If you don't, if you don't 14, move Andre, 15. he's going to move yeah. you, and he's going to grind you down. So you got to go out there and either have a bomb of a serve or be able to take some risk from the ground, beat him to the punch. And waiting for Andre to lose no. is a bad play. Otherwise, you'll be punched out <laughs> slowly. Oh. That's a punishing return right there. 40-30. He's stepping into that one. That's a safe return cross court. Look at the way he gets out of the way of the ball, make, giving himself plenty of room to take that full swing. Most of his returns are cross court. Bigger area of the court, less chance for error. Ooh. That's spectacular. Well, he knew where Bergs Miller had to go, and he's got even in this game at Deuce. That's for probably Darren, you know, the Aussie always coming Jeez. down the line and stamped on all Aussie's passports. Well, it's a good stick save volley right there. He, Bergs Miller did well on the forehand pass. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out when he's on a run like that for him to hook at cross court was going to be very difficult. Down the line was about the only play he had. Deuce. Advantage first sure, right in the corner. That's a good slider right there. That thing took a wicked bounce. Ace number three for the German. There's shot spot just catching the outside of the sideline. Another Game ace. I can see. Thought it was deep, but not arguing. With powder puff there, I think they've got the line for sure. 3 1. Birch Miller is he to one stays six. in front. We haven't seen a lot of aces out here, but those found the two perfect spots right there. Match differential, Agassi uh, was six more in the winner department, but Bergsmuller taking a few more chances, and 15 winners, 11 unforced, and a lot of those come in early stage of this second set. Fifteen. -0. See, the drop volley on this court works better than any other court. It just kind of dies. It's like Death Valley there when you hit the short little volley. On any other court, a guy would have had a play on that. It's not a bad uh, play on a clay court, though, as well, isn't it? A drop volley. 30 15. 122, that was the biggest yeah, first serve of the day for Andre. I think Great. on a clay court, Cliff, you. You're better on a high ball like that. You got to try to put it away on a sh on a short low volley, especially a lot of the clay quarters. They love to use that 
drop volley because if you push it deep on the clay, you give your opponent plenty of time. 30 15. 40, Good 50. idea for Bergsmuller on the second serve to take that risk and not allow Agassi to hit a couple balls to find that rhythm. Game Agassi. Agassi holds on 3-2. He's trailing. Bergsmuller's got the break. Bergsmuller, the German is serving. We come back live to Wimbledon's number one court. Down the break in set number two, Brad Patrick McClure. Oh, drop shot. <laughs> It was way too deep, and Agassi had an easy put away, but all that does is get him back to Ducia in this game. That was the longest rally of the match, 26 ball rally, and, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he hits his drop shot on the service Jeez. line, almost high. Well, it, it even went out of our camera range. <laughs> that was just asking for trouble. 3 2 Bergsmüller, Germany, with a break of serve in the second set. Agassi won the first behind two breaks. That was, a, that was the best point Agassi's played in a while, though. He really worked his cross courts and set that point up. And Forty loved this game. He was up back to deuce. Advantage Bergsmuller. A little sluggish getting out to that wide return there, Agassi. Two. Holds a couple of more times and uh, we're going to see a situation where we had one set apiece here on court number one. This is Andre Agassi of the USA, top seed left here in the tournament, seeded number two at the start. Leighton Hewitt, number one seed, lost in the first round. First set Agassi easily, second set 4 2. Bergsmuller has got the break and has maintained. He hasn't lost his serve in this set. Here's Agassi at 2 4. Cliff Dreiser, Patrick McEnroe, Brad Gilbert here watching this live minutes. coverage on court one at Wimbledon. Second round of the men's singles, and the winner will play the Moroccan Yunus El Anawi. Moroccan, Moroccan. Moroccan, Moroccan. <laughs> nice to see him uh, back in the thick of it at a major with his attitude and energy. What a run he had at the Australian, beating Hewitt, losing that classic to Andy Roddick in five. Love. Had a tough four-set win earlier today, Elenawi over Nicholas Massu of Chile. Thirty love. play from on the big off forehand and kind of sneaks in, puts away the volley. 40 love. Now Bandy and the finalist from last year looking good. Kuchera looking to close out the man from Japan, Suzuki, soddling the young Swede through. Tim Henman easily. Game Agassi. Agassi holds on, but it's 4-3 Bergsmiller with a break in the second. Bergsmiller serving here at 4-3. He's in front. Love 15 in this Love game. 15. Bergsmiller down one set to Andre Agassi. He had a chance maybe there on the first ball to do something with it, and then all of a sudden Andre got control of that point right there. He's serving with new balls here.
That's a good point from Burge Miller there. We got Andre on the defense right there. Finish it off with a good overhead. Let's fuss up. Out. That's a out. Fist. Missing long. Good look at that one. And now Agassi with an opportunity here to get back on serve. Shot spot, confirming that one over the baseline. Fifteen thirty. The pressure here on Bergsmüller. And he felt that he 15, took a 40. lot off of that first serve. He just spun it in and 102. That yeah. doesn't work, does it? No, That's you got to keep going for it against Agassiz. That's a pretty cheesy first serve right there. You continue to go for your, what got you here if you're Bergsmuller. He's played very conservative this game. And the break back Agassi. for Agassi now. We're even in the second set. Uh, Agassi has, uh, has played sparingly this year, but four and, games and all. He second always second. does that. This is only his ninth event. Four titles, though. He like always he's leading plays the season. It. Yeah, but he's leading the season alongside Federer. He won San Jose, and he won the Tennis Master Series Miami, won Houston, Mattress Max event. Mattress, by the way. Patrick, as you could expect, gives me a call the other night. He says, well, who's going to win Wimbledon? Who do you think I said? We're talking about Agassi, so obviously I go with right. double a, the A train because that's what he wants to hear. Demetrius Mack, otherwise known as Jim McInvale, who runs the tournament in Houston and will be running the year-end championships, which will take place at his club in Houston. Love the top to eight players in the world. Talking about Andre there with tournaments, he about 15 to 17 a year. He's gotten older, he plays a little less, and he still does as well. Paces himself well. Yeah, he doesn't like to overplay. Did you used to call those shots with him? No. He, he likes to make his own schedule. You know, he'd ask for my input, but he pretty much makes his own schedule. 15 0. Champions race is. Uh... Leads all to Houston, Texas. It's Ferrero after winning in uh, Paris that leads the race. Agassi very close behind him. And then Correa, Federer, Moya, Schutler, Roddick, Mantiva, Kirk, and Kirtan rounding out the top ten. Notable absence in that is the Australian last year's Wimbledon champ. That's two good forehands right there. Open up the court with a good return and then beat him up the line. 15 30. Hewitt is that, was, that was a very short serve from Agassi, and Bergsmuller capitalized on it. He jumped on that 88 mile an hour second serve. 15 30. He got Andre to miss hit the ball, and then that's where he could have maybe jumped on that first 13. ball right there, and he got conservative again. Justine Anna Ardan with a break. She's serving for the first set. The pocket rocket. That's a great one, yeah, too. Translate that one for me, Patrick. Well, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. A little pocket rocket. There. She's a little 5'3 dynamo. She hits a big ball for her size. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> Agassi coming up with a great first serve there, and it was a good stab by Bergsmuller, but Agassi very alert now at this stage of the set.
That's a great forehand. Jay Haggis, so he's turned this set around now. Haggis, he leading 5-4. And he won the first behind two breaks. 15-love. 5-4 Agassi in the second set. This is Bergsmiller. We're on serve now. Agassi was down a break, but he broke Bergsmiller in the last serve game. 15-love here for Bergsmiller. Two good serves right there. Love. One of the reasons Bergsmiller has been able to uh, stay in this second set is his serve percentage has gone way up, up to 76%. down but he's still just trying to get the five off so despite the fact that it's been a shaky second set for Agassi he still minutes. managed to claw his way back into this set nice disguise on that drop shot there Watch out for the ball kid here almost runs into him 40 love they take their work seriously here those ball kids I mean they're they're schooled It was a good second serve, and Andre just 40, took it up the 50. line right there. That's where a one-hander has no chance to do something like that. Let's fuss up. Another good first serve Jay from Bergsmuller. On serve at five games all in the second, first second at St. Jude. 15 was one of a couple of times there. Tommy Buford runs the tournament. Oh, yeah, he's I know. He's a great, great guy. guy. Yeah, but where's, I mean, I'm, whatever, I'm trying to get FedEx. He's, a, he's trying to broker a deal yeah. here, Brad, old Cliff. That's, that's part of his gig. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get a flight in those jumper seats. <laughs> Free flight. 30 love. 30 love. That's a great backhand approach right there. Short return, and he just took it up the line. See ya. 5 all. 40, yeah, 40 love now. Picking up his serve in these last couple games, Agassi. He's getting a little more leg thrust into the ball. He's just a little more aware now of how crucial this part of the match is. If he can get this two sets of love lead, he knows That's he can some. probably cruise home in three sets. Five second set in one set. Under Agassi leading six five in the second set on serve. This is Bergsmuller serving. He's got 15 love in this game. Second set, first set, Agassi. Love. Well, Andre Agassi is one of this year's ESPY nominees for best male tennis player, and you can vote now on who should win. Polls are open, so log on to ESPN.com, search word ESPY to cast your vote. ESPY is live on Wednesday, July 16th, 9 o'clock Eastern. We've got Agassi, Ferrero, Hewitt, and Sampras, your nominees. Thirty fifteen. Gonna be real Chelsea careful 15. now if you're Bergsmuller, despite being up in this game, you gotta be very aware not to have any sort of let up here, because Agassi will take advantage. That's a 
Good full body serve there. there. Body serve, yeah. he sawed him off right there. A little broken bat there, Brad. A little broken bat right there. <laughs> Pearl Jam, just right in the kitchen. Pat Rafter was one of the best I've seen in the last five years serving in the body. Lucas Miller with a game point. This is to get into a tie break. Again, Bergs Muller. Just misfiring a little bit. Six games all. Second set tie break. Bergs Muller was in, a, in the car with a, a mutual friend of ours who's now working at the ATP Tour, Chris Clauser, Patrick, and he was telling us that he was in the car yesterday going home from Wimbledon with Bergsman, and he said, well, um, who are you playing tomorrow? I'm playing against Andre Agassi. Where are you playing? Playing where Mr. Agassi wants to play. <laughs> when are you playing? Playing where Mr. Agassi wants <laughs> to play. <laughs> he was calling him Mr., huh? Agassi. Maybe right. at the U.S. Open that would be the case, <laughs> but I'm not sure about Wimbledon. Didn't you say this is his favorite court, Brad, this number one? He likes this court. Court plays a little slower, bounces a little bit higher on this court. One to Agassi in the tie break. <laughs> Two a zero. Rarely in history of the world plays off of either one of these courts. You know, if you guys venture out to the graveyard or 13 or something. It's a venture for Andre to even Where's the graveyard? Court. court two. Thank you. That's where Pete Sampras lost last year to George Bastel. Two, one, Agassi. George Bastel, by the way, this year at Wimbledon lost in the first round of the qualifying. He was about 150 with the third round coming mm -hmm. off. That hurts. Back to 250 and the low tier challengers. Big first serve there from Andre Three, out wide. Agassi. Why does the radar gun, Brad, always come up a little bit lower when you serve out wide than up the middle? Because the guns are down the middle, and so it breaks away. You lose about 7 to 10 miles an hour going away from the gun. I think it also has something to do with it. You have Four, to hit it to one. serve over the higher part of the net and take a little bit off with that as well. And, and these guns are all a little different. Like uh, last week at Queens, they were a little livelier. Sometimes here, they're a little slower. Kibis gain is another one where you never see the gun go up too high. It's a little more humid. But they're all a little different. Some are IBM, some are the poor. So, you know, we don't have exactly the, the conformity on the radar guns. But when Roddick serves, it's always big. <laughs> 4-2 now in this second set tie break. We didn't have to worry about that on the radar gun for us too much. No, <laughs> definitely not. Cliffy over there, he did. He had a huge <laughs> serve. <laughs> Big second, too, like me, huh? <laughs> I used to kick the thing. That's the best I could do. Uh, it's so long ago, most... Uh, certainly, Patrick doesn't even remember that era. Rod, <laughs> like you say, Rod laved him. He says, Rod who? What? The rocket? I remember you playing the tournament at the Berkeley Tennis Club. I was there when I was a kid. Ball kid? Sure. Five, Five two. two. Agassi now the tie break in the second. Seven is the magic number with a two point lead. And he's got one set in hand. In the second set, he was down a break. Kind of like the first set, didn't play well, but somehow he's going to find a way to win this set once again. That's a mark of a great player when you're not playing that great, but you still find ways to win. Yeah, Bergsmaller coming in. 
desperation there as Agassi just pummeling the ball within inches of the baseline and then the sideline. 6-2. But Patrick, Agassi. you should actually like the way he's running in form. You usually accuse him of playing too well at the start of majors. Yeah, it's true. He usually <laughs> does that. So he's rounding in he's, a little slower here. Yeah, it's good. He's, he's, he's listening to me, right? Somehow I doubt it. You know, we say when he wins 2-2-1, two, two, and one, that's not good. <laughs> Plenty of uh, set points in hand still for Agassi at 6 3. this it could be interesting you always want to make your opponent serve it out let's listen Solid there on the tie break as Agassi was able to come back in the second set after being a break down. He is two sets up on Lars Bergsmer of Germany in the second round match. The Andre Agassi match, ladies and gentlemen, may I remind you if you are 4 2 here on court one as uh, Andre Agassi leads in the third set, two sets to none. 6-3 first set and then a tie break in the second set for Agassi. Agassi was actually down a break. One point it was 4-2 down in the second set. So it has not been, yeah, it has. It's been routine. And uh, he had a little hiccup there in the second. But for all of that, this has been pretty solid an afternoon for Agassi. This is more to Patrick's liking. He gets a little annoyed when he wins two wins. <laughs> I, like, I like to see him test it early, get him ready for the later rounds. I'm, that's on the line. I mean, obviously, Brad, he actually does that, but don't you think that that it is a bad believe, thing for him? Or he doesn't he's believe in so that theory. He you know? doesn't believe in that theory. He just takes the match as it comes. If he wins two, one, and one, it's like, okay, it's, that's all, that's what's, what's needed. If I win in five, that's what's, what's needed. You know, he doesn't think about, okay, I got to round into form. Yeah, but what do you think? I mean, you were the coach for a long time. I think, you know, exactly like he thinks. He, if he's playing well, it's a good thing. Cliff Drysdale here, Patrick McEnroe alongside, and Brad Gilbert, who was Andre Agassi's coach for a long time, now coaching Andy Roddick. In fact, uh, it's Patrick more about too Fulte. about Andre how he hits the ball. Three weeks ago, this kid is out there and uh, shoveling uh, dirt in uh, California, and now suddenly he's got Andy. He's Andy Roddick's coach. He's working with us, and he, this is a huge transition. We've unleashed an animal here. I should shovel dirt <laughs> more often, huh? <laughs> Oh, that's a nice half volley right there for the baseline, Berg Miller. German wins the game, but Agassi's up two sets and 4-3 with a break in the third. Andre Agassi's got the lead here. He's got a service break in the third set, and he's up here by two sets to none. He's serving at love 15. Heck of a return there from Berg Miller, full stretch. And down the middle where the rough part of the court. 
kind of skids right there. Fifteen thirty. From one great American champ to another, coming up Serena Williams. Els Callens of Belgium. We tested her a little bit last year here, a couple of tie breaks. Sure did. See whether her game plan is going to work as well this year against the top player in the world. That has, a, that has a great ring to it. One great American so champion to another. Mm -hmm. Another one on the rise in young Andy. Yep. 30 all here as Agassi wins a couple in a row. 40 30. Three great serve. I mean, Agassi down, love 30. Trying to close this match out, comes up with three straight solid first serves to get himself quickly to 40 30. In just about 20 seconds, too. Just stepping up when he knows he has to to close this match out quickly. Oh, that's beautiful that's serve. That's beautiful. Game Agassi. Four solid serves in a row right there. Five three Agassi. Agassi leads five games. Eunice Alenawi, a winner set. earlier today, so the Moroccan. Hey, if this was like back, for the winner. if this is like backgammon, can, can I double the bet now? <laughs> you know, I give you the cube. I know exactly what you mean, but let's uh, go back to what happened earlier today and uh, tell everyone that we got a dollar, a dollar sixty on the dollar straight 70. set win for Agassi over Elenawi. And a pretty well played match from Bergsmull, as you could see from those numbers. I mean, that's, this is about as well as he can play. A lot more winners and unforced. Agassi capitalizing on his break points, not playing as clean as he would have liked the first couple of sets, but much better in this third set. He's rounding into form. Just in time. But he's the one who always says, Love Brad Andre, that he wants to save his best tennis for the second week, that he wants to get ready for week two. He I'm just, just responding to what he says. He just likes to beat guys in a <laughs> submission. If he can beat them 2 1 and 1, the quicker the better. Love 15. Oh. Ooh. That's a stick save and a gem right there. Just read it and return to sender. Love 30. That's like in baseball where you just big pitch and it's just about to whack the pitcher's head off. Comes right back at him. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty. I got the, the return to center. I'm not sure where the rest of that was coming from, but uh, I'm sure that our audience does. Stick save and a gem. A stick save and a gem. That's in hockey. Okay. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. Good salary turn to set up double match point. They must have field hockey in that South Africa. Huh? You must have seen that before. been hitting the ball as cleanly as he would have liked his first couple of matches but I do think that grass is a tougher surface for Ellen Alley to threaten him on because it doesn't move that well he's got a huge serve. he does though. I mean he's got to have a tremendous serve day and if he does then you know he can create enough shots off the return to, to give out Andre some trouble but that's a big if Good way to finish it off for Andre. 6-3, 7-6, 6-3. Sum it up. Well, I, you know, it was a scratchy middle set there. But Andre, look, he hasn't played his best, but he's won both matches comfortably, and he's, he's on the way. There's not that many guys, I think, that really worry him in the bottom section of the draw. 
That was a very workmanlike performance. You know, and he's rounding his way in. He's got one potential match with Philippoussis potentially. As the only guy in the bottom of the draw that can give him any type of match, in my opinion. Next up will be Elenawi of Morocco. We're going to take a break now from our Wimbledon coverage as Andre Agassi, a straight set winner over Lars Bergsmuller of Germany. <laughs> 